good morning students in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the electronic mail security in that uh, subtopic uh, secure multi-purpose internet mail extension certificate processing let us see about the overview uh, this video which is going to deal about the certificate processing of a secure multi-purpose internet mail exchange and uh, in that uh, user agent role and uh, verification of the signature and its certificates and we are going to see about the enhanced security services in the uh, email security so in detail we are going to discuss about the certificate processing in the uh, smime uh, secured multi-purpose internet mail extension uses a public cryptography that conforms to version 3 of x.509 uh, uh, the key management scheme used by the smime is uh, in some way a hybrid between a strict x.509 certification hierarchy and pgp's uh, web of trust as with uh, the pgp model smime managers and or uh, users uh, must configure each client with a list of trusted keys and with certificate uh, revocation list uh, this is uh, responsible uh, this is the responsibility is the local for maintaining the certificates needed to verify incoming signatures and to encrypt outgoing messages on the other hand uh, the certificates are signed by uh, certification authorities the certification authorities have several uh, well-known certification authorities are there and uh, very sign one of the most uh, widely used in the MIME uh, very sign issues uh, several types of digital IDs and which increases the level of checks and hence the uh, trust is going to be improved over here and actually which is going to have uh, three different classes with an identity checks and its usage let me discuss about this in detail in the overcoming com uh, coming like next uh, next slides uh, the user agent role an SMMA user has several key management functions to perform uh, as key generation uh, reg registration and uh, certificate storage and retrieval let us see about the key generation the user of some related administrative utilities example one associated with land management uh, must be capable of generating separate defi hellman and uh, dss key pairs and should be capable of generating rsa key pairs each key pairs must be generated from a good uh, source of non-deterministic random input and be protected in a secure fashion a user agent should generate rsa key pairs with a length in the range of 768 to 1024 bits and must not generate a length of less than 512 bit the next one registration the registration a user's public key uh, must be registered with a certification authority in order to receive an x.509 public key certification the third one certificate storage and retrieval a user requires access to a local list of certificates in order to verify incoming signatures and to encrypt outgoing messages a such a list could be uh, maintained by the user or by some local administrative entity on behalf of a number of users let's see the next one uh, very sign certificates uh, there are uh, several companies that provide certification authority services uh, for example uh, nautil has designed uh, an enterprise or ca solutions and can provide uh, secure mime support with an organization there are number of uh, internet based security authorities including veri verification of signature uh, gte and the us postal service uh, of, of this uh, the most used in the very same cs service a brief description of which we can be provide uh, we can uh, get, discuss about this a very same provides a, a security authority service that is intended to be compatible with SMIME and a variety of other applications 
uh, where is any issues uh, five point uh, sorry x point five not nine certificates with the product name very same digital id as of early 1998s over 35000 commercial websites were using uh, very sign uh, ser server digital ids and over a million consumers digital ids had been issued to the users of netscape and microsoft browsers the information contained in a digital id depends on the type of digital id and its use at a minimum each digital id contains uh, owner's public key uh, one is names or allies, uh, expiry, uh, expiration date of the digital ID, a serial number of the digital ID, name of the certificate authority that issued the digital ID and finally the digital signature of the certificate authority that is issued uh, the digital ID. And uh, digital IDs can also contain other uh, user supplied information which includes address, uh, email address and basic uh, registration information like country, uh, zip code, age and gender. Uh, Verisign provides uh, three levels or uh, classes of security for um, public key certification. A user requests a certificate online at uh, Verisign's website or other uh, participating websites. Uh, here the class 1 and class 2 requests are processed online and in most cases take only a few seconds to approve. Let us discuss about briefly the following procedures, how it's going to be present for the uh, class 1, class 2 and class 3 of uh, public key certificate classes. Now for class 1, a digital ID uh, very sign confirms the user's email address by sending a PIN and digital ID pickup information to the email address provided in the application. Class 2 digital IDs verifies, verifies the information in the application through an automated comparison with the customer database in addition to performing all of this checking association with a class 1 digital ID. A finally, confirmation is sent to the specified postal address uh, altering the user, alerting the user that a digital ID has been issued in his or her name. A class 3 uh, digital IDs uh, for class 3 digital IDs, a very same requires a higher level of identity assurance. An individual must uh, prove his or her identity by providing uh, notarized uh, credentials or applying in person. Let us see about the table which have been clearly defines the class 1, class 2, class 3 with the summary of confirmation of identity. If an IVA private key which is going to be provides an uh, trustworthy hardware, a trustworthy software or a trustworthy hardware for the certificate authority and in class 2 it's going to be and both are going to be in hardware and class 3 also both are going to be in hardware. A certificate application, uh, apl applicant and a subscriber private key protection. Uh, here in the class 1 encryption software which is going to create a pin protected and recommended but not required. Uh, whereas in class 2 encryption software is going to be required uh, to produce the pin. As well as class 3 also going to use an encryption software required as well as hardware token recommended but not required actually. The third parameter of application implementation or uh, contempted, uh, uh, con contemplated by the user in the class 1 web browsing and a certain email usage is going to be there whereas in class 2 individual and intra and intercompany email online subscription password replacements and software validation is going to be get used over there. Whereas in the class 3 just like e-banking or a corporate database access, a personal banking or a membership based uh, online services, a content integrity services or e-commerce services, software validation, authentication of uh, uh, a strong encryption for uh, certain servers are going to be needed over there. Such a way this public key certificate which is going to work in the verify signature in, in a three different classes. Uh, whereas here uh, the issuing authority provides a public key and uh, the the particular uh, local registration authority also going to be get administrated in this. Uh, let us see about uh, enhanced uh, security services. The secure MIM enhanced security services. Uh, three enhanced security services has been proposed in an internet draft. The detail of this may change and additional services may be added 
the three services are uh, signed receptant, uh, secure uh, labels and secure mailing list. Let us see one by one. Signed receptant. A signed receptant may be uh, requested in a signed data object. A returning and signed receptant uh, provides proof of delivery to the originator of a message and allows the originator to demonstrate to a third party that the receptant received the message. In a sense, the receptant signs the entire original message plus the original signature and appends the new message to form a new SMIME message. The second one, security labels. A security labels uh, may be included in the authenticated attributes of a signed data object. A security label is a set of security information uh, regarding the sensitivity of the content that is uh, protected by SMIME encapsulation. The label may be used for access control by indicating which user are permitted access to an object. Other uses includes priority uh, like a secret or confidential or restricted and so on or a role based describing which kind of people can see the information example a patient a healthcare team or a medical billing agent etc the third one a secured mailing list when a user sends a message to a multiple receptant a certain amount of p receptant processing is required including the use of each receptant's public key the user can be revealed of this or his uh, work uh, by employing the services of an SMIME mail, uh, mail list agent, MLA. A mail list agent can take a single incoming message performing the receptant specific encryption for each receptant and forward the message. The originator of a message need only send the message to the MLA, there is nothing but the mail list agent uh, with encryption performed using the uh, mail list agents MLS public key. Uh, such a way this enhanced security services are going to be maintained by this MLA in the secured multi-purpose internet mail extension. So hope that uh, you people have understood about the certificate processing in the secured multi-purpose internet mail extension with the user agent role uh, and the verify signature certificate and how the enhancement is going to be made for the security services. Uh, I hope this video may be helpful for you people to understand this. If you have any queries, kindly post your queries to me. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.